Hello, you are welcome into the lecture Psychoactive Substances. During the lecture, you will observe medical use, mechanism of action, and disorders related to psychoactive substances abuse. As psychoactive substances, psychopharmaceutical or psychotropic drug is a chemical substance that changes brain function. As have been mentioned in previous lecture, psychoactive drugs are divided into different groups according to their pharmacological effects. Anxiolytics that inhibit anxiety, stimulants that stimulate the mind and may cause euphoria but don't affect perception. Depressants that induce all of the sleep-inducing, calmative, anesthetizing substances, anxiety-reducing, which sometimes induce perceptional changes, such as dream images, and also often evoke feeling of euphoria. Amphotogens and toxogens that produce experiences of emotional relatedness, communion, emotional openness, and hallucinogens that produce distinct alterations in perception, sensation of space and time, and emotional states. This group includes psychedelics, dissociative, and deliriums. Sedative hypnotic drugs are the drugs that cause sleep and reduce anxiety. Some examples you can see on this slide. Sedative or anxiolytic pills should exert a calming effect with little or no effects on motor or mental functions and depressions of central nervous systems should be the minimum consi consistent with therapeutic efficacy. While hypnotic pills should encourage the beginning and maintenance of a state of sleep that resembles the natural sleep state and central nervous system depression, should be more pronounced than sedation. Abarbiturates are a group of drugs that act on a central nervous system depressant and effective as anxiolytic, hypnotics, and anticonvulsants. However, they have physical and psychological addiction potential, as well as overdose potential, among other possible adverse effects. Barbiturates act as a positive allosteric modulators and at higher doses as agonists of GABA or gamma aminobutyric acid receptors. GABA is a principal inhibitory neurotransmitter in the mammalian central nervous system. Next, barbiturates produce their pharmacological effects by increasing the duration of chloride ion channel opening at the GABA receptor that increases the efficacy of GABA. Benzodiazepines are a class of psychoactive substances with hypnotic, sedative, anxiolytic, reducing anxiety, muscle relaxant, and anticonvulsant effects. Benzodiazepines are induced, included in a wide group of central nervous system depressants as well as barbiturates. The effect of benzodiazepines is also associated with the effect on the receptors of GABA. Benzodiazepines bind to benzodiazepine receptors located between alpha and gamma subunits of GABA-A receptor channel complexes. GABA needs to be present for benzodiazepine effects to be detectable. For example, benzodiazepines are allosteric GABA are receptor modulators and not true agonists. Benzodiazepines increase the frequency of the chloride ion channel opening, thereby increasing the inhibitory effect of GABA on neuronal excitability. Benzodiazepine effects are especially pronounced in the limbic system, thalamus, and hypothalamus. Physical and psychological dependence and abuse might be caused by biological and biochemical factors, genetic vulnerability, comorbid psychiatric and medical disorders, reinforcing effects of drug withdrawal effects and erasing, etc. Psychological factors of abuse include curiosity, low self-esteem, poor impulse control and stress management skills, childhood trauma or loss, etc. 
Social factors of abuse include peer pressure, interfamiliar conflict, religious reasons and cultural factors, poor social and familiar support, role of media, etc. Risk factors for abuse include chaotic home environment or personal life, association with deviant peer group, limited social coping skills, ineffective parenting, inappropriately aggressive or shy behavior in society, at work or at school, poor life performance, etc. During the initial stage of abuse, person feels curiosity or has medical prescription. During the next stages, the person learns more about use of drugs and learns to seek the height of, of psychological effects. In the last stage, individual burns out. At this stage, they use drugs, use drugs just to feel normal. Euphoric effects may be low. According to the International Classification of Disease, Tense revision, clinical modification, psychoactive substance abuse related to the codes from F10 to F19. For more detailed information, you can follow this link. Recreational users report that the barbiturate height gives them feelings of relaxed contentment and euphoria. Physical and psychological dependence may also develop with repeated use. Chronic misuse of barbiturates is associated with significant morbidity. Intoxication symptoms include irritability, lability of mood, slurred speech, attention and memory impairment. Sign and symptoms of barbiturate poisoning include disorders of central nervous system, cardiovascular system, lungs, kidneys, vision. Treatment of barbiturate poisoning include artificial respiration, stomach wash and usage of activated charcoal and antidotes, forced alkaline diuresis. On this slide, you can see most prescribed and most abused benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines withdrawal can be divided into two main stages and includes short-term symptoms and long-term reactions after last use. Addiction is a complex but treatable disease that affects brain function and behavior. Drugs of abuse alter the brain structure and function, resulting in changes that persist long after drug use has ceased. This may explain why drug abusers are at risk for relapse even after long periods of abstinence and despite the potentially devastating consequences. Effective treatment attends to multiple needs of the individual, not just his or her drug abuse. Medically assisted detoxification is only the first stage of addiction treatment and by itself does little, no change long-term drugs abuse. Behavioral therapies, including individual, family, or group counseling, are the most commonly used form of drug abuse treatment. Thank you for your attention.